Oh hey guys and welcome to something completely different. Yes, that's right, we're playing main menu. Ah, that was actually a joke. We're not playing main menu because that's not a game. Instead, we're going to be playing Prison Architect. And of course, you may be asking, hey, what exactly is Prison Architect all about? I don't know because I'm a complete fucking idiot. Have you ever been to prison? Oh, you have. Congratulations. Well, when you were in prison, were you a bit confused? Wondering why you're now in a big building and you're locked behind bars with a cellmate named Big Bear? And the first thing Big Bear says to you is, Oh, hell, howdy there, partner. Would you like to know how I snuck this bottle of lube into prison? Well, let me show you. And with Big Bear's hand thoroughly placed in your anus, you were probably wondering exactly how this prison came to be and who built it. So let us go on a journey, shall we? Of course, starting off, we need to choose exactly what type of gender prison we want, and of course, I'm gonna go ahead and pick female, mostly due to the fact I wasn't allowed to pick attack helicopters or furries, but I'm assuming if furries are naughty and go to prison, they'd probably just put them in the zoo, right? And now we need to pick a warden who's going to be in charge of the prison and run the day-to-day -day management, but none of these are really striking me. Wait a s- Ah, oh, there we go. It's Jeremy Korbachev, and here we are in a post-industrial desolate hellhole. Of course, you're probably already thinking, is this the north of England? And y yeah, you pro it probably is. But don't you worry, good old Jeremy Korbachev's going to revitalise the north of England to create a new prosperous industry in the north called Gulags. Wait, did I say goo? I meant prison rehabilitation centers. <laughs> First off though, we're gonna have to suckle off the teeth of the government and get a grant, otherwise we don't have much in the way of money. Inmate health and well-being. Ugh, that's not gonna go well in a gulag. I mean, we've gotta put them to work for God's sake, come on. And here we go, it's the man of the hour himself, it's Mr. Korbachev. And here we go, he's already overseeing the construction of the new prison, which looks a lot like an office block. Are you trying to tell me something here? Perhaps some deep edgy message about having to be a slave to the working system, never to break free from the chains of capitalism. And office blocks, Jeremy. And there we go, our little office blocks done and good old Korbachev himself is doing some research on finance. I mean, that's, that's not like you at all. Uh, anyway, we need to get some power in this bad boy. Oh, would you look at that? A nice little building's been done and we've even hired an African-American cook. And a... a, um... Uh, that might be a child molester as well. Oh, wait a second, that's not a pedophile. It's DJ Killer Keemstar. And hey man, let me just say, I'm, I'm very happy that you finally got over your hatred of black people. Also, uh, getting quite, quite expansive over here. Even got toilets. Oh, here we go. Our first prisoners have arrived. And we've got a nice variety here. We've got Lane. She was in for aggra- Oh, aggravated burglary robbery. Oh. Uh, Vera Crystal Mills, trafficking, that's not that bad. Clara Speed, violent disorder. And, yeah, Indie came. <laughs> uh oh, I think I'm going to jail, guys. We can't have Korbachev doing all the work, so we've gone ahead and got ourselves a chief of security over here. He's busy, you know, researching how to make the workers a. Uh, Sorry, the prisoners, you know, more secure. Ex fucking excuse me, Gorbachev, why do you have a fucking toilet in your office? It's not even connected to the fucking plumbing. Oh shit, uh, fuck, uh, oh no, I'm gonna have to blur this out. <sighs> Reminds me of some of those Japanese films I watched. You know, we've got, we've got a shower, we've got a chief of security, but we didn't have a wall. That's right, we gotta keep all those sneaky undesirables out. I mean, in. Unfortunately though, we couldn't pin off the price of this wall on someone else, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to make some money up somehow. Yeah, money situation's not doing, um, that great, but I have got a very good idea of accepting 80 prisoners. Now, you might think that's a bad idea considering I have room for four prisoners, but just bear with me, alright? Bear with me. 
Oh no, that toilet looks fucking used. Corbin! So about those 80 prisoners, why the fuck are they all naked in the reception? That one's holding a fucking baby! Put your clothes on! So, uh, just a quick question, why is this bring your babies to prison day? For f why? Why are they here? So, a uh, bit bad news, you know that whole 84 prisoners and 4 actual cells to hold them in? It's not going too well, there, c there are quite a few dead bodies everyone's escaping and uh, it's not going it's it's going great it's going great it's oh there's another one trying to escape get up beat up but shoot attack oh for fuck's sake the guards they're so fucking fat and slow oh fucking congrats guys you Fuck it, this is not the Korbachev dream, alright? Oh, for fuck's sake, guys, there's literally menstrual blood all over the holding cell. Can't you fucking hold it in? So, you know, a lot of people are angry anyway, so we're, we've got a mission to find some illegal narcotics, so uh, we might as well make them just a little bit more angry. So the prison's starting to look pretty good now. All the walls are finished. We didn't get to finish all those narcotics off, though. The holding cell's getting very dirty, not with blood. Why are their clothes... Why are there just clothes on the fucking floor? Sorry, scratch that. Did I say things were going good? Well, you know all those mothers that were just hanging around in reset? They just all fucking exploded into blood with their babies. There's loads of dead babies all over reception now. For fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, why are all the guards just ignoring it? Someone clean the fucking... Cor You're still the fucking toilet. Fuck's sake, Corbin. Bit of bad news for this gardener, um, he's accidentally become an inmate because he's boarded himself into this part of the prison. So I'm just, yep, yeah, yeah, have fun in there I suppose. Aha, uh -huh, we've done it, we've managed to convince the state to let us incarcerate babies uh, and make them into workers in the gulag. I really like this baby, as you can see, it's also a fucking ghost, probably one from one of those dead babies that blew up in reception. Now that's a good puppa, as you can see. We, we had someone tunnel out, so I've decided to get some fucking dogs. Oh, well, if that wasn't enough, I've gone ahead and created a small army over here. But, you know, they're just here to, to inspire people's work ethic and not shoot them if they attempt to escape. I mean, yeah, yeah, you get... Why the- Stop running around with that dog, it's tired, the poor pupper! Uh-oh, bit of bad news, bit of a riot underway, but don't worry, with our armed guards and our good old renter riot guard, we we'll have it down in no time. Oh, here they are, to enforce the right political ideals. Oh, never mind, riot's already been squashed, and by squashed, I kind of mean I think they're- Yeah, that one's dead, um, I think my guards might have killed them all. Um, but uh, hey, it's under an hour so I don't have to pay you guys. Built a morgue and uh, we've got a good old uh, one of the dead prisoners here and they were they were convicted for assaulting an officer, which is quite funny because that's also the way they got fucking killed. But you know, it's all good, at least the dogs have got something to eat for the next few weeks. So I found another tunnel and unfortunately as you can see, I have no money. So, I thought of a great idea, how about I accept 154 prisoners? And, um, accept the money for them. <laughs> Have no room to put them anywhere. But it went alright last time. Didn't it? Uh, maybe we killed quite a few people there. Um, just noticed something in the official Gulag workshop over here. That, uh, there appears to be a prisoner getting sword in half. Oh, looky here. Look, Korbachev's got, he's got a girl over. Sarah Mafwanini. Oh, done for assault as well. Maybe you should show her the toilet, hey? She'd love it. For fuck's sake, there's another f No, this, this is not happening again. Oh, no, Corbin, your office is so dirty. You're taking naked pictures of yourself and just leaving them on the floor. For fuck's sake, Corbin. Bit of bad news. It appears Corbin's news leaked and they've... They're, they're so goddamn hot, they've set a fire in the canteen. <laughs> I mean, it could, it's probably looked a lot worse. I mean, it's definitely cleaner than good old Korbachev's office, that's for sure. So, uh, Korbachev's been locked away in his office, as you can see, doing a lot of work and research and how to deal with the, the prison overpopulation problem. So, um, he's, he's, come, up, he's come up with um, an idea. So, uh, Corbin apparently wants more prisoners, not entirely sure why, but I, I guess I can't question the guy after he built that big shower. Why are 
wait a second. So uh, I might have accidentally put some landmines around the around the prison, and when the prisoners get off the trucks, yeah, they can't they can't they're on fire. That, oh my fucking god, Corbin, you monster! They're all dying. Oh fuck. Okay, bad bad news bears. Um. The the the, the uh, landmines kind of spread. The, they spread the fire. There's there's so many goddamn people in there. Okay, I don't know why, but the firemen aren't getting off the fucking fire truck. Oh fuck! The parole officer's here. He's he, he's gonna fucking tattle on us, the bitch. No, guys, it's oh no, the lawyer. Fuck, guys, hide the fire. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Corbin stuck in it. Is this fucking office? Get to, get in the toilet. Hide in the toilet. So, uh, things are going quite well, just a quick update, there's a lot of fucking traffic outside, a lot of dead bodies. <laughs> quite a lot of dead bodies. We're still accepting prisoners though, the firemen won't get out the fucking truck though. <laughs> oh, this part of the prison's fine though. Oh, Corbin's out of his office now, he's just taking a nice minute to remember all the good times he had in the office, with the toilet at the time, he took naked photos and left them around and when he had an actual prison. I feel like this is going to get me in a lot of trouble, really. I think I've murdered a lot of people. Why not? Might as well shake down the prison and find all their valuables. And uh, Corbin's staring at a tree. Oh, took your fucking time, guys. Come on, half the prison's already gone. Yeah, that's fine. Just put out that little bit of fire when the rest of the prison's burning. Oh no, the fires, the fires spread to the cell blocks where the, the people were safe at her. Oh no, one of my armed guards! Yeah, this, that's definitely making the news. Oh fuck. Oh, that's good. It looks like Corbin's tired, so he's just taking a quick nap behind the tree. Meanwhile, the fire's almost gone now. Oh no. That's, I think, you, you, medics, I think you're a bit late, they're all, they're all dead, who's gonna clean this fucking mess up? Oh no, the CEO's calling me, he's probably gonna wonder why there's so much dead people around. Yesterday was a very dark chapter for the history, there's, I think, make sure nobody else dies of criminal negligence. I killed like 500 people! So yeah, that didn't go well. I killed an extra five people, which got me in put, put in my own prison. Which, uh, you'd think the 500 before that would have got me put in prison, but no, those, those five people, they just put it over the, over the fucking top. Uh, so you know, since the prison burned down, I'm now just stuck here indefinitely. So, um, guess uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to leave an up like, share with your friends, and post it up your reddits, you dickheads. Also, for the people asking about the Yogscast collaboration, don't ask me. Go ask Terps on Twitter. At the Terps.